We all know what a broken character is, but I think we can all agree that Rogus it is the most broken to ever exist. Even worse than that, he is the character that stayed the longest in this broken tier state. And even worse, it's not even the first time. But why is he always so good? Today we're gonna take a deep dive in all of the reworks of the balance changes to maybe figure it out why is the sleepy ghost so OP. Let's go. Everything started in 16th of May 2022 when Skeleton King and Royal Ghost were introduced. Spoiler alert, he sucked. But I need to warn you that back then, stats and Royal Ghost were completely different. Back then, all of the characters had around a third of the HP and dealt half the damage. And on top of that, Royal Ghost was a 3 elixir back then, so try to keep that in mind with his stats. He had 4 HP plus 1. That was Archer's HP, so yeah, it was not a lot. He had 0.5 attacks per second, he dealt 2 damage and gained 0.1 attack speed per second. He back then had a super that made him invisible for 4 seconds and it costed 5 energy. Now you can kinda see where the problem is already, but let's just keep going. His first ability made so that he would deal plus 1 damage to isolated minis which was really good to deal more damage overall and it helped him out a slight bit. His second ability was the really good thing. He could just make himself and adjacent allies invisible for 4 seconds. That is a lot really. And his third ability, it was the Hummel that we already know. Back then, Hummel was a bit different. He healed 6 HP over 3 seconds, which meant that he would heal all of his HP, because at 3 stars, he only had 7 HP. In the C tier, Royal Ghost just is not. Okay. He was awful, and I think we all know why. He had no HP, and even worse than that, back then when he went invisible, it actually didn't interrupt the enemy attack, so they could still attack him before he goes invisible. Clashmen realized that they made their two newest minis way too weak, and they would completely rework Royal Ghost. His HP was changed from 4 to 6, and the HP per upgrade was increased from plus 1 to plus 2. His attack speed was reduced from 0.5 to 0.45, and the attack speed per upgrade increased from 0.1 to 0.15. Now, ability changes. His second ability would now be his passive, or clash, where he would make himself and adjacent allies invisible for two and a half seconds. Honestly, not a lot of time. And his new second ability would be ghosty, where he would go invisible every three attacks for three seconds. That was a lot of invisibility. And people realized it. He was the best mini in the game. There was no strong heroes back then. Only broken minis. And it was honestly rock, paper, scissors. You either used Electro Wizard or you used Witch to counter Electro Wizard or you used Royal Ghost to counter Witch. Rock, paper, scissors to me it looks like. But in 14th of September, Clash Min would realize their big mistake. And because of that, they would reduce the duration of invisibility from the ghosty ability from 3 seconds to 2 seconds. And with that, he eventually went back to the B tier, to the balanced state. But Clash Mini noticed that he was no longer the sort of carry that he was meant to be. He was some sort of weird support character. And they didn't want that. So Clash Mini, they would do something that they never did before. His elixir cost would be increased from 3 to 4 with buff to his stats to make it worth it. His HP was increased to 8, his attack speed was increased to 0.6 and the attack speed per upgrade increased to plus 0.2. And now he would grant invisibility for 3.5 seconds. He was officially back. He was just so good, he just dealt so much damage and his invisibility clash, it was just so annoying. People would just pass by his side and his adjacent allied sides and that just meant so much free damage to the enemy team, honestly. But Clashman realized that and they would do some really important changes to him on season 5. 
Ah, it's that time of the year again, Royal Ghost nerfs. His clash invisibility was reduced from 3.5 seconds to 3 seconds. Straight to the point clash mini, I like it. But I also have to warn that he had a HP buff, all of the characters had a HP buff on this season and his HP was increased from 8 to 5. I mean, he was alright. Honestly, I think that the main reason why he sucked so much, it was AoE. Valkyrie being a god, giant skeleton explosion killed him, Mega Knight with the super, Ice Freezer with his attack, Magic Archer, like all of the best characters were AoE. Clash Mini didn't want Royal Ghost to be a meh character, because back then if you were a 4 elixir, that meant that you were supposed to completely carry the team. So on 5th of January, they would buff his clash back to what it used to be from 3 seconds to 3 and a half seconds. And honestly, that didn't help too much. N another not good meta for him, even worse than the last one, he was a C tier. He just couldn't deal with the healing meta. Heal leaders were everywhere. And Clash Mini would realize this. So on 16th of February, they would increase his isolated bonus damage from plus 1 to plus 2. So he would deal pretty much double the damage to isolated minis. He skyrocketed in popularity. Even with the healing meta, with the AoEs, he was one of the best characters in the game. Just for you to realize how strong he is. And it was only gonna get better and better. Update 7 was here and probably one of the best metas for him. He was the strongest mini again in the entire game. And again with a lot of AoE options to counter him, for you just to realize how strong he was. Frenzy time was here and it tripled his attack speed and he could go invisible pretty much all the time. One month later he actually received some nerf. Ooh, it was a tough meta for people that didn't enjoy Royal Ghost. His attacks would be reduced from 0.6 to 0.5, his HP was reduced from 15 to 10, and his HP per upgrade was reduced from plus 10 to plus 8. Now, even though there isn't any single tier list, I can assure that he stinked back then. And on 7th of September, Clash Mini would increase his HP from 10 back to 12. And it kinda helped him out actually. His Clash was still actually pretty darn helpful in some scenarios. But Clash Mini didn't want him to be balanced, so they would do a tiny rework. They would increase his HP back to 16 and the HP per upgrade from 8 to 9. But his Clash would be changed from 2 seconds and a half of visibility himself and adjacent allies to just himself for 6 seconds. Now, the funny thing is that in a normal scenario, this would obviously be a nerf to the Royal Ghost. But there was a very big bug that made so that when the Wave Master threw the Royal Ghost over him, the Royal Ghost would make the Wave Master invisible as well. Now imagine, if a two and a half second invisibility is already annoying, now try to imagine a six second invisibility. Yeah, that Wave Master deck was really good back then. But Clash Mini would realize this bug and they would fix it two weeks later. His Clash duration was increased from 6 seconds to 7 seconds in order to compensate. And I mean, he was usable, he was balanced, he was fine. But again, Clash Mini doesn't like him to be balanced. So on Season 8, his HP would be increased from 16 to 18, and the HP per upgrade was increased from 9 to 12, and the Clash was changed back to its original state for 3 seconds. Now, he sucked. Like, he was just so underwhelming, and one of the main reasons was how slowly he could go invisible. So, they would buff his HP from 18 to 22, his attack speed from half an attack per second to 0.6, and the HP per upgrade from 12 to 14 to make him stat wise a lot stronger. It did help him out, but only to go to the C tier. Honestly, a bit underrated. But in the next patch notes, the king would be back to his throne as the best mini in the game again. You wanna 
little bit, but the pony needs to get taken care of, and there it is. GG, well played, super easy victory. In 9th of January, Royal Ghost would have a very big buff. His isolation bonus damage would be increased from plus 2 to plus 4, so he was back to dealing double the damage against isolated minis. But there was one specific combo that made him super broken. Ranger Synergy. At 4 units, the Royal Ghost would get a 40% attack speed buff and he would literally be always invisible, like literally impossible to attack him. Clash Mini would react quick on this Mini, and so on 23th of January, they would change his third ability from becoming visible for 2 seconds every 3 attacks to becoming visible for 2 seconds every 3.5 seconds. Honestly, a pretty smart rework. Now this would have been the end of the video, but there was actually one final balance change that happened after I recorded this. His second upgrade on 6th of February was changed from healing 30% HP over 3 seconds to healing instantly 30% HP, which I do have to admit it helped him out a lot. It made him a way much better assassin overall. And there you have it, all of the metas, all of the changes, all of the balance changes, wait, <laughs> all of the patch notes that the Royal Rules received throughout the years, really. Honestly, I am proud of this guy. I do would appreciate if he super could somehow come back. I feel like that was the balanced way of making him exist, because his third ability is just fundamentally necessary for him to even do his own business thing, like go invisible, attack people. The only change that I would like him is like swap his third ability to, with his clash. I feel like that is kind of necessary in order for him to not be a ability dependent mini. But that is just an opinion. Hope you enjoyed and I'll see you on the next video.